Hey, Father Ian Van Heusen here. So rule number 14 from the Rules of Discernment. The conduct of our enemy may also be compared to the tactics of a leader, that whole image of spiritual warfare, intent upon seizing and plundering a position he desires. A commander and leader of an army will encamp, explore the fortifications and defenses of the stronghold, and attack at the weakest point. Listen to that, attack at the weakest point. That's where the enemy always gets us. He gets us at areas of woundedness, things that need healing, things from our past or from our present, our, our little foibles that are known to us. Our enemy shows us our weak places, but there's good news in this, and that's what he's gonna continue. So there's good news, he exposes our weak points. So in the same way, the enemy of our human nature investigates from every side all of our virtues, theological, cardinal, and moral, so the virtues, all that, where he finds the defenses of eternal salvation weakest and most efficient. There he attacks and tries to take us by storm. So the good news is, in desolation, we come to that self-knowledge. We find out what are our weak areas, and that's gonna give us strength in the long run. So instead of viewing desolation and viewing the attacks of the enemy as simply a nuisance or something that I, oh, I wish desperately it would go away, see it as an opportunity. God allows it so that you can discover and come to self-knowledge about where you need to grow. Amen.